Thanks, Jess. We have some new information about yesterday's North Columbia standoff. ABC 17 News has learned that the suspect, Jess Jenkins, was on parole for multiple thefts. Now, one Missouri lawmaker wants to make it easier to track some parolees convicted of a much more serious crime of murder. Yeah. ABC 17's Erica McGuire is live in the newsroom with more on what the proposed bill means. Deb Lucas, State Representative Lane Roberts tells me that this bill would give the public knowledge to some convicted felons. Now, although Tuesday's standoff suspect was not a, was not a parolee, would not have been on lo the lawmaker's bill. Roberts wants those in the prison system who are out on parole for second-degree murder to be tracked by state police. It was scary because I got kids. Mother Nikki Allen says the standoff near her home yesterday left her in fear since you never know what people have going on in their lives. Columbia police were looking for Jesse Jenkins for outstanding warrants on multiple felony thefts. Officers found Jenkins. He then barricaded himself in a home, then surrendered to police nearly four hours later. Although Jenkins was not out on parole for murder, Representative Roberts wants to take on how parolees convicted of serious crimes like murder to be tracked by the state creates a register of violent offenders. It's entitled violent offenders, but the register is exclusively for people who have been convicted and on parole for either first or second degree murder. Robert says the proposed bill comes after a Missouri woman was killed by a parolee convicted of murder. There was no easy way for any of the folks who employed him to know that in fact this person was a parolee for homicide. If the bill is passed, it would expand the sex offender registry to include felons who commit second-degree murder. Accessed exactly as someone would access the current sex offender registry. Uh, the limitations on the amount of information available would be the same uh, as it would be for the sex offender registry. Current parolees would not be added to the registry. It starts from day one. It doesn't preclude them from going back if they chose to incrementally to add some people who are currently on parole. Now, Roberts tells me the registry wouldn't follow co convicts forever. The bill says people would come off the registry once they complete the parole requirements. Reporting live in the newsroom, Erica McGuire, ABC 17 News. Okay, Erica, thank you. And the House Crime Prevention Committee voted 7 to 1 to advance the bill. It faces some more debate before going to the full House for a vote.